What's up YouTube, this is Fate, bringing you another deck profile, and today we're going to be bringing back an old classic deck prof profile from my channel, Chaos Nordic, now known as uh, Chaos God Nordic. Wanted to put sort of a fun new twist on this old uh, classic, uh, try to get it up to a more flexible play style with the current meta, and ran some test uh, duels with this build. It's been going great, so without further ado, let's get to the profile. For starters, I kept uh, this engine in my build, uh, Triple Vanatus Nordic of Ascendant. Main reason why I like her is she can be used for any of the Nordic uh, synchros, uh, or the Asia synchros rather. And uh, her main use for the build is I like to summon her turn 1, use her ability to send guild facts to the graveyard uh, to change her level from a 4 to a 4. Reason why I do that is guild facts is a light attribute, and when she d dies, she's a dark attribute, so. Turn 1 setup, Chaos plays for days. And then I also still run uh, 2 Valkyrie of the Nordic Ascendants because you will get uh, dealt with those monster clump hands and she helps uh, sort them out uh, pretty nicely. On to the Nordic Beaks piece, I still run triple Gilfax. Good uh, light level 4 target, especially with being the tuner and uh, Cyber Dragon against Synchros. Triple Tanjashir, good uh, when the monster is destroyed by battle, special summon in, in defense, and then you can switch them to attack mode to get to all of your special summon plays off to really put the pressure on your opponent. Next, I only run two Ten Grinseer. I see more and more people try running this at three again, and the reason why I personally uh, don't run three is he has a good ability to spit out two tokens. However, because uh, this format is more about destroying by effects or removing by effects, the destroyed by battle effect uh, is a lot less useful in today's game, so I've only kept them at two. And now, last uh, of the Nordic Beasts, I round up with one Garmir. More or less the same reason with Garmir, I used to run two of them, just have the extra dark targets. But eventually I cut him down to one because he's still useful as a dark target, 19 hour defense, but his uh, level 4 lore monster bounce ability gets a lot less play in the game today. And one of two things happens. He either uh, bounces the level 4 monster that you never want bounced, or you're getting faced up against a synchro monster anyway, so his ability is a lot less useful. He's basically there for the defense slash extra dark target. Next up for the new god engine, to keep the plays uh, similar to the last build and not slow down on speed too much, I kept this at minimum. So I run two uh, Wing Dragon of Raw Sphere modes and one Wing Dragon of Raw. Helps get that uh, variable accessibility in the build, uh, helps switch up the playstyles and digs uh, the build out of uh, unique situations. But again, wanted to keep this at minimum because as powerful as it is, it does clump if you get too much of it in your hand and I do not like the clog. For the support monsters, I run Double Summoner Monk, Double Effect Failure, and the Chaos Trio, Double Sorcerer, and BLS. That is it for the monster lineup. On to the spells. I still run the Triple Pot of Duality, mainly for the first turn plays uh, and or the setup plays. Because especially with 10 Jostier's ability, you will be doing most of your special summon on your opponent's turn. And for those setup turns, you really want duality to sort out uh, what you don't want to draw later on or what you want to pick up. I still find this is a really good utility piece. I also run Triple Mystical Space Typhoon. Build still has a little bit of an issue against back row on plays, so triple up on those to help uh, get rid of that at times. Next, I run Double Mound of the Bound Creator, which is really good A for your uh, god plays, but also B to keep your Nordic monster or your Aesir synchro monsters out there a lot longer. And this thing is a perfect complement to those guys. If you get a field card with an Aesir monster, it's your opponent's going to have a really hard time getting around that field. Then, if they do end up destroying the field card first, you get free god monster out of that. And then for the last of the support spells, double uh, creature swap. You're b 
Base monsters are still generally low attack power, so might as well steal something stronger from your opponent. One Book of Moon. And the poor man's Regeki. That's it for the spells. Uh, on to the traps. I still run Triple Gluffer Feathers of Fenrir. This thing does eat up MSTs, Galaxy Cyclones, what have you with the formats today. That and it's a uh, Rota for Nordic Monsters uh, on your opponent's turn or whenever you want to activate. Uh, however you want to look at that one. And then for the round out defense, I decided to opt in two Mirror Forces because the build does have a minimum uh, back row defense to it. And I uh, figured a good board clear would help uh, remedy at least some of that problem. That's it for the main deck. On to uh, the extra deck. Kept the synchro lineup pretty uh, basic with my main lineup. So one Armades, one Goyo, Black Rose, Stardust Brothers, Scrap Dragon. And for the non generalized uh, level 8 monsters, I run one Thought Ruler Archfiend that just has a different playstyle. And I still run the one Angel of Zera in this build uh, compared with my last build as well. And Angel of Zera, I'd have to say in some Chaos builds, is definitely an overlooked Synchro because when you get your Chaos plays uh, rolling after your Synchro this, for this guy, it's it's a really good utility piece. Don't run into it uh, too often, but still really powerful. One Trishula, one Star Eater, and then Thor and Odin. I decided not to run Loki. I feel his ability is least useful of the trio, but with the double Thors, uh, you have tons of plenty of access in Nordic beasts, and you have uh, more than enough. Uh, Ascended uh, Nordics uh, to uh, abuse uh, Odin as well. And then for the one that exceeds monster, I decided to run my reliable Digestal Emerald, get the two level fours on field, uh, recycle the plays, and rinse, repeat. And with that, that is my Nordic Chaos uh, God deck profile. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. And until next time.